All right, I uh, I gotta make this video real quick, and uh, I just I I feel like I need to first turn down this microphone because it's it's uh, the audio levels. I don't want it to distort or anything like that. Um, okay, all right, I just gotta remember. Um, now nah, here. Alright, first of all, I gotta make this video. Uh, Dr. Claw sent me this message last night uh, where she says, You might be interested, and she sends me this link <coughs> to, um, I guess, her website, her blog website. And uh, she says, I know you'll hate it, but, but you can see the entirety of my perspective now. Uh, well,. There's there's no guarantee that I'll hate it. I mean, I'll just tell you that. Oh yeah, and I'll just introduce myself. I'm Manslave, of course. See, I'm running the Validation Warfare YouTube channel. Um, and I just want to make this video uh, to uh, Doctor Claw, which is known as the Prometheus. That me and the disposable human doing, you know, the code name that we designate for her is Doctor Claw. That's who we call the Prometheus. And I just want you to know, Dr. Claw, that I don't hate you. Actually, I don't think I hate you at all. Um, uh, like, you know, your your philosophy is annoying because, like, it's so it's so skewed in like in favor of women at the cost of men. And I just can't I just can't concur with it. You know, I just can't go along with it because. Ever since I was a little kid, I was raised to believe that women are infallible, and the bubble got pumped up for me um, of belief, you know, of this whole perception that women are superior and that um, and that women should be treated better than men, and all this other stuff, all this chivalry, especially the chivalry, um, just all this stuff. Um, and traditionalism and all that, and you know, and that and that the problems in society were caused by men, you know, by and large. You know, if there was a gender to be blamed for problems in society, then it was generally the the the, the male gender. Um, and then last year in 2011 came, um, and just so you know, it's 2012, November 28th, 2012. Uh, right now, but last year, uh, 2011, came a very significant collapse of a belief system. Uh, the bubble had gotten popped. Um, the bubble of me believing in women, you know, being worthy of admiration at the expense of men, because I actually seen that so many women were behaving the same way that they negative that they negatively stereotype and generalize men for behaving <clears throat> um, yeah and then uh, that's when uh, my, my uh, former girlfriend cheated on me that's when uh, the disposable human doing uh, his girlfriend uh, uh, ditched him uh, and you, well had used that's the year 2011 that you know the disposable human doing his girlfriend used him as a stepping stone you know uh, to build up her self esteem to get to the guy that she really wanted and then she got with that guy and only stayed with him the same duration that she stayed with the disposable human doing showing that she is a sociopath having the uh, anti-personnel or anti-social personality disorder um, and I really need to keep this video short because uh, I gotta go to work soon I bust my ass at a job uh, I pay my bills um, alright, alright, okay, uh, number three right here, um, is, 
incapacity to maintain enduring relationships, though having no difficulty in establishing them. Uh, that's that's what I see a lot of females doing right now, a lot. And it's the signature characteristics of, characteristic of what me and the disposable human doing refer to as a poop mouth. That is one thing. Okay, um, now just for people that aren't familiar with the poop mouth, imagine what the word cunt means, or at least used in you know what the word cunt is used in context for that somewhat fits up with what we refer to as a poop mouth um, there are some similarities between a cunt and a poop mouth but they're not exactly the same they are one in the same but not perfectly exact um, yeah um, uh, yep um, let's see um, Markedly prone to blame others uh, or to offer plausible rationaliz rationalizations for the behavior that has brought the person into conflict with society. Uh, a lot of females do that kind of stuff right now. Callous, unconcerned feelings for others. I mean, deep down, they don't really you know, have feelings for others because uh, they, they believe that everything uh, should revolve around themselves. Mm -hmm. Um... Mm -hmm. Okay, oh yeah. Deception as uh, indicated by repeated lying, use of aliases or conning uh, others for personal profit or pleasure. <coughs> um, okay. Yep. But, uh, yep, that's right there. Um, so, uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we had our bubble popped. Um, and, y you know, when, when you're facing, you know, false, uh, sexual harassment allegations, uh, as it was in my case, um, you know, because I was always taught that, you know, sexual harassment is ass-grabbing and that sort of thing. And, um, but then now in recent years, um, uh, like Barbarossa said, the sexual harassment laws are some of the most fluid laws that have ever been devised. Um, they, they really are, uh, like any unwanted attention. Uh, and in that regard we're all victims of sexual harassment um, you know every time you know at my job some customer calls me sweetie or babe or honey um, and I'm not interested in that person that qualifies as sexual harassment because the same exact treatment if uh, like when a man generally when a man says those kinds of comments at women and they don't feel comfortable with them or they're not attracted to that guy then that is regarded as sexual harassment. Now, I'm all in favor of having a universal standard to where um, certain behavioral characteristics should be um, universally recognized as wrong, such as just going up and stabbing a person, you know, like, or going up and taking somebody's belongings without their permission, or you know what I'm saying? I mean, in, any of these scenarios. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm all in favor of having rules and laws and regulations against, you know, behaviors that we all recognize as wrong. But I, I'm, I'm really tired of this double standard and this volatility. And, um, you know, where, you know, it, it's it's all subject it, it's just far too um uh too uh oh gosh i'm looking for the word um uh, unstable or whatever it's it's depending upon the moods and the interpretations of people you know it's just and and yet these these laws these regulations these codes of conduct they they are they're they're so erratic and yet they carry so much power and weight 
in terms of what effect they have on the person who is in violation. And that's what I have a problem with. And well, the disposable human doing, uh, he was he was flirted with for like half the night by this one girl. And then uh, when he makes a move on her, uh, she alleges that he uh, tries to sexually exploit her, even though she provoked it. And he wanted to load up his high-powered rifle and put it in his mouth and blow the back of his head off because of how these girls uh, made him feel. And he told his story and all that um, in a previous video. Uh, and how at first it wasn't even it wasn't even regarded as that when the situation happened or whatever. And it was only in, you know after the situation happened. Uh, and she basically didn't want to get in trouble, you know, with the guy who she wanted or her her boyfriend or ex boyfriend or whatever the case may be. Basically, she made up this this um, this sexual uh, assault uh, or sexual yeah whatever uh, allegation to basically cover her ass so she doesn't get in trouble with this guy and so that she can save face and so that his bubble won't get popped that his girlfriend or whatever is a promiscuous uh, infidel bitch you know has infidelity problems um, yeah and the, f he, and, and the disposable human doing he was very careful you know we've been studying this stuff for about a year now and you know since uh, around what anywhere from October to December of you know 2011 that's when we started I think as early as 2000, yeah, as early as, as October uh, 2011, we started talking about it, but we really, really started having the discussions in the first few days of December of, um, of 2011. We, we had talked about it just a little bit here and there during the month of uh, November of 2011. <clears throat> So right out a year ago, we started all this intense study, uh, and then the whole year of 2012, we really, we really hit the study hard. Um, I mean, j it seems like that's almost all we do. I mean, even when the disposable human doing is playing Minecraft on his Xbox, he's still thinking about all this gender conflict. You know, even when I'm, um, uh, you know, doing all these hobbies here and you know making. Um, working on these uh, these projects for the uh, Raspberry Pi and you know and doing all this other stuff and even when I'm playing like my video games and stuff um, and working my job and you know everywhere even when I'm grocery shopping I think about this whole big gender conflict and that sort of thing um, and they um, and we just think about it so much of the time, and that's part of why we have so many hobbies, especially me, is to try to, you know, have a little bit of a rest, you know, a little bit of a break <clears throat> away from the stuff, but it still haunts us. And, um, so anyway, um, yeah, um, of course, last year where, um, you know, I had, uh, become part of an invisible love triangle and was treading on the ground of a um, um, invisible uh, lesbian relationship between these two girls and all that um, and it just stepped into that whole freaking trap and it is kind of a trap because uh, because neither Clam Master or Bell Bottom will admit that they have feelings for each other. I mean, they won't confess it to anybody else. I mean, they're totally in the closet. Especially because Clam Master's mom is just deeply religious and she's just so intimidating and just gets on everybody's nerves about it. Um, <clears throat> and, uh,. So anyway, uh, Bell Bottom and Clam Master decided to keep their relationship secret. Uh, now they they display a bunch of affection in public, you know, away from Clan Master's mom, because in public is the only place where Clan Master's mom is not around. 
but consequently it's where everybody else in public is and they see it and they talk about it and this rumor eventually well eventually circulated to me I was one of the last people to find out about it but I was blamed uh, and labeled as being the person who originated it uh, I'm sure Clam Master uh, made that allegation you know need a fall guy and all that and because word was eventually gonna get out I mean when they display all that affection out in public you know and people are gonna find out you know when they're at Walmart when they're at frickin Cracker Barrel when you know they're at the library doing all this stuff people notice you know I mean at any given time there's at least eight or nine people around you know what I'm saying like and like they they act like it's a surprise that word got out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like nobody really judges them or hates them for it because that stuff is fairly common around here. It's just that like what they have to fear what what Clan Master especially has to fear is um is how her mom would react to it. And of course, how her mom's church would react to it, and that sort of thing. Um, but so anyway, um, and it is a trap because as long as that relationship remains secret, there are so many guys. Me and the disposable human doing, we both fell into the trap. You know, we both got attracted to this girl uh, because she appears or to be a nice girl or whatever, or at least pretends, but, you know, she has anger issues, um, and all that, and, um, you know, she whines and, and complains about how she's, she, she's like a prisoner at Clan Master's house, but yet she won't leave, and she, and it's, these two are both girls, they're both female women, you know, and yet it's the same bitching and whining is same so much the same behavior as if it were a heterosexual relationship the same drama the same shit you know the, the only difference is both of them are female and i've witnessed some of this stuff i've actually seen some of it with my own eyes how clam master would fucking like flirt with bellbottom in like my place of work and <clears throat> and in Walmart and other places and hold hands with her and lean over Bell Bottoms register and just watch her there for like 20 minutes and then you know like the disposable human doing said you know come in and bring her lunch and then take her out to lunch and then drive her home I mean just straight I mean Clan Master was acting straight up like a dude and like like a twenty five year old dude who's got himself a seventeen year old girlfriend, you know, and it's like Bell Bottoms a seventeen year old girlfriend, even though she's not seventeen and Clamp Master's not twenty five. But I'm just saying, I mean, it's that kind of dynamic, it's that kind of interaction. I mean, it's a stereotypical shit, and it's and it's both being done by females. I mean, god damn. I mean, like, when will people wake up? This shit is way more common than it's given recognition for. And that's the point that me and the disposable human doing are, 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 are talking about. I mean, if you're a nice guy, you know, if you're just even just a regular guy or whatever, and, and you just, and you do your part, you do what people tell you to do, you do what's expected of you, you, you sacrifice if necessary, you, like all this stuff you're not rewarded. Your efforts are not rewarded. The best you can do is keep your ass out of jail and hope that nobody fucking alleges any shit against you to protect their own interest. I mean, fuck. I mean, why do you... I mean, some people get this. You know, some people understand what I'm talking about. But, like, there are others who don't. They, I mean, it's like... You know... <clears throat> it just... Whatever. So anyway, um, yeah, that sort of thing. Uh, we we just we we got a shocking kick in the face by reality, and we have to we have to um, reevaluate how we're gonna live our lives, and we make the decision of whether or not we want 
women involved in our lives, you know, like the disposable human doing talks about. I mean, we we can't help that we're attracted to women. I mean, we are. But like at the same time, you know, being with a woman poses a risk. You know, it, it's just women are not worth the pursuit. They're not. And the problem is dick is too cheap and pussy is too expensive. I mean, a guy, you know, I mean, okay, well, let's say two people in a relationship want to, you know, or they're dating and they want to have sexual relations or whatever. He ha He's expected to please her and, and expend himself so much. You know, she expects him to pay for the meals or else he's a cheap bastard who's not worth dating. He expects her to say all the things to make her laugh when she expects, to make her feel good, to, to comfort her whenever she feels down, uh, you know, to, to provide whatever she wants, you know, that, that those new shoes, you know, to replace the ones that went out of style and all this other kind of stuff, you know, uh, to get her a new purse, uh, you know, every once in a while so she can feel like she's a, a person, I guess, or whatever it is that, that like, anyway... And like, and then he expects her. And well, well, first of all, she expects him to be loyal and dependent upon her for validation. Um, and 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 in validation, you know, that that's a whole umbrella term. Uh, but you know, she you know she expects him to depend upon her for his self esteem and all this other kind of stuff. And then all he really expects from her is for her to to like be loyal to him and you know to to basically validate him but she doesn't um, but he doesn't expect her to pay for anything generally at least I know I didn't um, because to expect a woman to pay f her own way in life is to risk uh, infuriating her and then to jeopardize every benefit that a woman can provide for a man and I mean like it's just not worth the risk and dating is prostitution I mean what girl puts out what girl will even like okay set aside sex what girl will even spend time and hang out and talk with you um or, or watch a movie with you or whatever if you don't do what she says or if you don't do what satisfies her you know or I mean like Briffle's law all over again you know what I'm saying you know where where a female can derive no benefit from where the association of a female okay where the associate okay where uh, where a female can derive no uh, benefit from the association with a male then no association takes place I mean, it just tells you right there, and you know, there's studies about the uh, the monkeys that that take the prostitution very very easily. Uh, they learn to exchange um, tokens or well, food or whatever type of well, they they basically barter for sex, uh, <clears throat> and in some cases, tokens or coins have been used in these experiments. Anyway, I'll, I'll just have to bring that up later, and I mean it. it, it Primates are biologically, like, apparently biologically hardwired for this kind of stuff. There's all these things that, that Dr. Claw, you know, that you're not, that you're not addressing. And a bunch of other feminists are not addressing. No, it's just more fucking bullshit to conceal females' destructive, you know, f you know, the feminine destructive nature. The inherent toxicity, all kind of shit. It's just more of a fucking dignified, basically it's more of a spackle job to cover up the cracks in the mask. I mean, that's what feminism fucking does. I mean, why, why do so many people not understand this? And, you know, and the Femetheist, I'm not going to use your real name, okay, because I don't want you to use mine. We can conceal identities here. That, I mean, that's fine. I mean, really, and I don't even hate you. I mean, it's just, like, uh, it's just, I, I don't feel like this is a personal thing. I feel like it's, you know, between me and you, you know, uh, Femetheist. Um... I feel like it's more of a professional thing. You are on 
the the extreme end of women's interest um and then I am perceived on the extreme end of men's interest but really I mean if we all men and women could just peacefully coexist and like not have the drama to where you know men and women are both pretty much equally as much as possible equally uh, uh, appreciated and like you know and treated equally and just like have some kind of universal standard then it can be all good you know I mean I was you know well I kind of still am a nice guy but some people exploit that I, I try to appear like I'm an asshole and all that because assholes are rewarded you know um, and um, anyway um, I, I try this I tried this experiment this summer and this you know and in recent months you know during 2012 you know I like try to act like an asshole hoping that people would leave me alone and not bother me and all that but no, they just pester me even more and all this kind of stuff because they know what's underneath that mask. They know that I'm a submissive, nice guy that they can get to do whatever they want and, you know, that they can get me to do whatever they want and that sort of thing. Get me to do stuff that they should be doing for themselves. You know, it's like, you know, it's like lift this TV for me even though it only weighs 10 pounds. You know, it, it's, I get tired of that kind of stuff, you know. And just I don't I don't like being used, so I pretend I try to pretend like I'm an asshole and all that, and it's like all people do is just get mad at me, and they know that if they just ramp up their dominance, that I'll eventually just crumble and revert back to my submissive nature and all this other kind of stuff, because they know me for what I for what I really am. I mean, they've known me as a submissive person before, and they know that all they gotta do is is out. Uh, is outperforming in the in the regards to dominant uh, to dominant behavior. You know, all they gotta do is be more dominant than me, and then they'll and then they'll get their way. You know, it, it's just stupid. So anyway, Prometheus, um, it's just a professional thing between you and me uh, in terms of you know our our uh, rivalry, our our. Uh, are, are fighting each other and all that. I don't personally actually hate you. Um, I don't really see a need to hate you, but your ideology is very repulsive and it bothers me a whole lot and all I'm doing is just going up against it and that sort of thing and um, and uh, but I mean, you know, when women out there that make these false allegations and fuck over a man's life, get him all locked up in prison over some bullshit, I I have to say that like I have the same amount of sympathy for them as they have for the people they victimize. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just this, it's it's what it is is I'm seeking a universal standard, and. You know what I'm saying? It's like people that that like help other people and like and 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 pass on, you know, constructive desirable characteristics. They they get admired by me. I put them up on a pedestal and that's perhaps why I used to put women up on a pedestal because I, you know, I was taught to perceive women as being the embodiment of like positive characteristics but when I started seeing them behave the same bad way that they stereotype men for behaving then then that whole perception just fell apart you know and then I no longer trusted them because I was raised and, and taught to understand a certain set of behavioral characteristics as being wrong and uh, and in need of being fought against and then at the same time I was taught to see a certain other type of behavioral behavioral characteristics as being pleasant and desirable and to admire and to um, emulate and to take upon well to basically learn from and to inspire me with and, and to protect and to 
carry on and, and to to spread to other people and all that. And that's the problem. So anyway, um, yeah, here's the blog website she sent me to. Um, I don't know how long this video is. Um, okay, this is... I don't know exactly how new this is because I don't go to her website very often. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm actually, well, Fometheus, I'll just tell you that I'm, I'm actually flattered that you're giving me all this attention right now. I mean, we've got this communication going on where, you know, somebody of your caliber and magnitude. Uh, I, I feel really flattered, and you are stroking my ego um, uh, because you're presenting a challenge. Um, and it just it's great and sometimes you're kind of nice to me and all that which is appreciated and I mean but we're both willing to call each other dipshits and all that if we push each other's buttons and it's fine you know just as long as nobody actually gets physically hurt and you know nobody's property gets damaged nothing gets stolen or anything like that as long as it's just annoyance and that sort of thing is completely tolerable. It's a universal standard, you know. And like I said, if you don't flag my shit, I won't flag yours. You know, if you don't ban me, I won't ban you. I mean, it's just, you know, we can just keep going at it and, and conflict until we each run out of energy, and that's fine. All right, cult of the old gods. You know, this dude's a real dipshit. He actually does piss me off more than uh, Prometheus does. Prometheus is just annoying, but like this dude is just like well perhaps an early Christmas present <laughs> uh, dude rather have coal in my stocking son um, come on now Spence stop making your hour long video they're, they're actually more than an hour long you dummy I mean it was five it was like five and a quarter hours long and I just had to chop it up in several pieces and I'm still not done and all that. They're boring as shit. They're boring to you because you have like no intellectual capacity in which to understand them. And even if you did, you're still in denial because you're addicted to pussy, you dumb fucker. I mean, damn, get off the drug. Now, before, before I sub you, I couldn't have cared less about feminism. Now I'm hardcore into that shit. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, you bluffing me, dummy? Because, you know, you just might be. I did with that dreadful dead uh, vids. Well, guess what? Yeah, I, I used to regard myself as a feminism until I seen, you know, feminists and all kind of women who who don't proclaim themselves to be feminists but still benefit from the ideology. Um, they they you know with with all the cheating that women did, with all the fucking man shaming, with all the false rape allegations, all the shit, all the fucking toxicity, you know, stealing kids away from the fathers, all kind of other shit. Um, yeah, and, you know, not, and, and women not upholding their end, you know, not, not, a, um, you know, you know, women not, um, holding their end of the whole traditionalism agreement and all that, yeah, that, that turned me away from feminism. And yeah, cult of the old gods, you're dipshit, you know, you can, uh, you can unsub me anytime you want now, you know, that'd actually be nice. You probably do it just to keep a watch on my videos. I should probably subscribe to the Prometheus for that reason. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, just gonna refresh this. See if there's any new messages. Apparently, there's not. Um, and just another thing to the Prometheus. I mean, um, honestly, I mean, me and the disposable human doing. Our goals are to eradicate rape. Uh, to eradicate, that means exterminate, uh, sexual harassment, and really, actually, it'd be nice if there wasn't any more pornography. Yeah, because porn actually hurts men. Oh, and then there's those sex-positive feminists, I guess, and they're all into that kind of stuff because they benefit from... Um, they know that women benefit from porn because, I mean, it's just basically, you know, the portrayal of the goddess and that sort of thing, and just ancient, ancient I mean, just age-old kind of stuff, just repeated again and again. You know, I mean, look, look at who benefits from porn. I mean, women get all this money that they don't actually have to do any real work for. You know, they just, they just get to do what they naturally want to do anyway, which is get laid. You know.
that matter of fact, they get fucking validated, and the and the people who actually like are victims of porn is these guys who, you know, are lonely and and feel insignificant because you know society tells them that they need to be that they need to have uh, relations with women in order to, to be regarded as significant and actually like treated like a real person and to be taken seriously and to feel a sense of accomplishment in their lives and all that that's part of what validation is you know <clears throat> and then these men are therefore made to feel like they're a failure in life uh, because they can't get with women and why why aren't they getting with women well because women don't perceive these men to be attractive enough once again the age-old uh, you know passing on the desirable genes to the offspring and all this kind of ancient caveman stuff you know I mean it just keeps repeating itself and feminists don't address that they just focus on the most shallow shit all they do is spack on more fucking stucco you know if they see a fucking crack in their mask I mean damn I mean that's all they really that's all they really really do you know and anyway <clears throat> um and then, of course, in the process, they, 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 they can't do their stuff without hating men. And they're in this rivalry. There's a rivalry between the genders because of feminism. You know, like that one feminist, me and the Disposable Human Doing covered it in a previous video. At that one, uh, oh, at that one Warren Farrell uh, speaking event where the gynocentric bigots known as feminists, you know, was chanting no hate speech on campus and all that. And this one woman was very revealing when she said that you know what Warren Farrell is doing is you know it takes and, and the men's rights thing is that it takes away from women like see that's how women perceive all these things is that you know and so like I mean but men have been trained to perceive advantages toward women as being equality you know it just and this video is too long anyway but anyway the, so so men are are in effect brainwashed to think that they need women in order to be validated in their lives and then they can't get these women for whatever reason no matter how much they try and then they're labeled as creeps and Gunsley already did the thing you know with handlebar Johnny Label him as a creep because he pursued her, and there's like, what, like, <clears throat> maybe a 15 year old, I mean, a 15 year age difference between them. But yet, he, per, you know, but then he, or maybe 14 year age difference between Gunsley and Handlebar Johnny. And then, but yet, Handlebar Johnny also pursued Clora Breath, and she's like 20 years older than him. You know, he's he's going more than a decade each different direction. He's just looking for somebody, you know? It's not like he's cruising for young girls or whatever, because he actually asked a 73-year-old woman out on a date, you know? And so, no, he's not like some fucking serial pedophile or whatever. He's just looking for somebody to alleviate the loneliness or whatever, you know? He's told that, you know, by society with all the fucking subliminal messages and the advertising that, that's centered toward men also... Uh, not just women. I mean, I'm not going to dispute that some of the stuff is targeted at women out there. Or quite a bit. A lot of it is. But, like, it's targeted at children. It's targeted at everybody. That's how companies make money off of shit. You know, look into Edward Bernays and all the stuff he did. You know, brilliant guy, but he's a bit hes a bit of a prick. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so, um, so, um, yeah, and and then these guys they can't you know they 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 can't seem to get with with any with any woman uh, because they're not perceived as desirable, and so they have no other you know they have no other recourse than to turn to pornography, and it's sad really because it's still it, and, and and actually women love it D like deep down within their psyche they love it because it's still keeping men addicted and dependent upon women. And, and women financially benefit from it. Look at these guys. I mean, they work these soul-crushing jobs. You know, sometimes it's depressing jobs. 
and they just suck it up and deal with it and sometimes even take pride in their work no matter how harsh it might be harsh meaning physically or harsh meaning um, that it, you know they deal with a lot of shit from the public and and all this kind of stuff and they work these jobs and sometimes they spend their money on pornography which the money goes to women because women are the actors and and that cynical cynicism he did a really good video about who benefits in porn in the porn industry and female models and female porn stars are paid what is that up to 50 times more than what males are paid for the same work you know i mean have for having sex you know like it just i mean even pornography is gynocentric and it just anyway yeah and so we're really against porn uh we're we're even more against rape uh and we're against, and we're definitely against sexual harassment also see and you know me and the disposable human doing we have some goals in common with the feminist except our methods do differ uh the feminists say that they want an end to this shit but they actually really don't <clears throat> i mean look they got all these fucking child protective laws in place and all this fucking marriage shit all this stuff you know all this other stuff that benefits women you know even if it comes at the expense of men but they but they're not able to snuff out the porn industry a matter of fact the porn industry has actually grown you know so like what does that tell you you know I mean yeah it'd be nice to get to, I mean you know uh, to, to get rid of the porn industry and then to get rid of the underground illegal porn stuff and just whatever so that like there's less money coming from men going to women so that hopefully women have to work real jobs and do real shit to earn what they want to have just like a man so that we have real equality but see that's the thing you know like me and the disposable human doing we want to we want to uh, just totally exterminate rape sexual harassment and eventually get rid of porn if possible but we have different methods and um, uh, at achieving that goal that the feminists probably would not like. Uh, you know, women might not like it either because it means that men finally will hopefully break the cycle of abuse and just like, you know, just, you know, just basically break away from women. And then if women want to be with a man, they're going to have to fucking come to the bargaining table and they're going to have to fucking earn a man just like a man is expected to earn a woman. And then we'll have real equality. When both, and then both genders can relate to each other better and get along better because they both struggle through the same, through the same stuff and they can feel a certain type of connection with each other and all that. You know, a certain type of bond and that sort of thing you know and they'll have more in common they can relate to each other better but you know with all this fucking poop mathery and gynocentric bigotry and all this other shit going on women and men are, are like just the, the extremes of of each gender's psychology are being used against each other and that's sad we do have a gender war I mean I'm all in favor of peace and, and equality of treatment and we can all get along I mean that's what I'm in favor of but like apparently this gender war is really gonna have to heat up and it's gonna have to get really bitter and hardcore in order you know so that we learn that like peace is the only real solution here you know what I'm saying so anyway, I gotta end this video for now because it's been longer than I wanted to, and I gotta start getting ready for work. All right. Uh, until next time, I'm Manslave, and this is for the Validation Warfare YouTube channel. And this video was made specifically for the Prometheus, but anybody can watch it and comment on it and all that. So until next time, you need to go pet some.